What is going on guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how you can boost your FPS in Call of Duty World War 2. Well guys, let's get started. Launch Call of Duty, then go into settings, then go into advanced settings, and then make sure your game is in full screen. Then go down and click the display resolution, and choose one of the lower options. The lower the option, the more blurrier your game will be, but the higher FPS you will get. So whichever option you can tolerate, try it out and you'll get a pretty nice FPS increase just from that. Next, just change all the settings in the lowest. Also change the maximum FPS to 250. So now go down and change the post-processing anti-aliasing to off, then put all the texture options to low, then shader preload to off, then anastrophic filtering to low, then shadows to off, then shadow map resolution to normal, shadow depth to normal, screen space shadows to off, screen space reflections to off, cache sun shadow maps off, depth of field to off, screen space ambient occlusion to off, medium distance ambient occlusion to off, and subsurface scattering to off. Now with these settings, you should notice a pretty big difference, guys. Alright guys, so let's move on. Right click on your desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel and go into manage 3D settings. Then click program settings, then click the add button and find your Call of Duty EXE file which should be called S2 underscore MP64 underscore ship. In order to find it, go into Steam and right click Call of Duty and click properties. Then local files, then click browse local files. There will be an exe file inside that folder. Now just locate the folder by hitting the browse button in the NVIDIA panel. I'll put the folder location on the screen right now just in case some of you did not do the steam part. And make sure all your settings are exactly like mine. Pause the video as you can set these settings. After you have set the same settings, go into the Configure Surround Physic X tab and make sure your processor is set to your graphics card. So now we are going to make sure your hard drive is running at its fastest with no errors. Locate your drive the game is installed on and right click the drive. Go into Properties, then Disk Cleanup, then check all the boxes and hit OK. Then just hit the Delete Files button. This will remove any scrap files from your system that you don't know about. After cleanup, go into tools and click check to make sure your hard drive isn't causing any problems when playing. Next, hit the optimize tab and hit the optimize button on the drive the game is stored on, which would usually be the C drive for you guys. What optimizing a drive will do is for example, if you uninstall a program, a folder sometimes will likely be stored on your computer. Or if you browse the internet, then temporary files will usually be stored on your system. This will just remove all those unneeded files. This method is super quick and simple. You're going to launch the game and then open up Task Manager by right clicking your taskbar or clicking Ctrl Alt Delete at the same time. Then make sure you're in the details window, then find the S2 underscore MP64 ship. Right click it and hover over set priority and then click on high and then click change priority. Now this next setting will make sure that your computer isn't in like a power saving mode. Now we have to get into the power options so go into the control panel then system and security then power options then make sure it's set to high performance. That's it guys so it might be unbalanced or power saving but just make sure it's on high performance. Alright, so next we are going to change your Windows design into a more ugly looking design, but in return this should give you that little bit of more FPS. Now first we are going to want to go into control panel, then system and security, then system, and click advanced system settings. Then click on settings in the performance box. Then click the box that says adjust for best performance. This will freeze up your screen for a few seconds and you'll notice your windows looking a little uglier after this, although it should help boost your FPS. 
Next, we're going to want to download CCleaner. This will find any files that you don't know about that aren't important on your computer and it will remove them. First, visit CCleaner's website, which is pyreform.com. Then click free download, then download and install it. Once you have installed it, hit the analyze button and let it run. After that, hit the run cleaner button and let that run. Next, go into the registry tab and click scan for issues and let that run. After it's done, click fix selected issues and then click fix all selected issues. Now CCleaner is known to boost your computer's performance. So guys, try this out, it's not gonna hurt. All right guys, so we're gonna wanna set your course to the highest amount to make sure your computer is running at its fullest potential. So go into the search bar and type in msconfig, then go to boot and then go to the advanced options and enable number of processors. Then click the drop down and set it to the highest number you have. So mine is 16, you might have six or eight or any other number. Then click okay and hit apply. Well guys, that's the guide. I'm hoping this guide helps you boost any amount of FPS. A like and sub would be appreciated and also let me know what video you would like to see next. Anyways guys, see you on the next one.